They love playing around that box. The stats on the right back up what you guys are saying is the 0 2 pitch heads to Ortiz. Upstairs, it's why as the three of us go through this season, he's trying to punch him through the hole. Our first season together, you'll find that the quickest game we do pace wise is also the hardest game because everybody's got a story, and that's the all star game because everybody's got to put away stuff. So guys go up there swinging, ready to. Take a hack instead of waiting around for the what perfect catch at, to finally get delivered. It's bang, bang, bang. It's, it's just a different feeling ball game. I think sometimes you do have to get out of your comfort level according to the pitcher and the game that he's throwing. Clearly, Scherzer has his A game today. The Red Sox love to drive up pitch counts, get deep into counts, but that's not going to work today. Here's a 2-2. And there's a strikeout number six. No, and I think that's part of when we're in this number-driven culture we're in right now, there is a game within the game. And sometimes that pitcher dictates great game plan to try to get to 100 pitches, maybe drive him out. What you but doing? He's going to tell you what you have to do. If you want to try to get back at a ball game. Well, here's Grady Sizemore, who grounded out his first time. Got off to the great start, was lining himself up to be one of the better stories of the year over the first couple of weeks of the season. Over the opening 10 games, he was hitting 343. Hit a home run at Fenway in the home opener, and he thought maybe the Red Sox stole somebody, giving him a chance after two years out of the game. But over the last 37 games, he's hitting only 190. Yeah, this this could be one of the big oversights. The Red Sox could make a lot of mistakes. I think he's a guy that should be playing around the diamond for you on different nights, not playing.